everybody welcome back to another video we have another winter design today I have in my head what I want to do I'm not sure if it's going to turn out how it looks in my head very rarely does but I've pulled out a few things so I'm going to be using the sorry I've just run upstairs <laughs> model ones black and white they're my favorite black and white I've pulled out diamond dust from Neil sugar and disco ball it's a black and silver metallic and there's a wee bit hollow in there as well so it's going to kind of pull together the AB crystals that I've pulled out these are from Shine Shein. still not 100% certain how to pronounce that thing but I've pulled those out and I've got these beautiful water decals from Charlie's Nail Art now I actually bought these last year um, for a release I haven't put an order in yet this year um, so I'm going to use these because I just think they're absolutely beautiful. So let's get started and we'll see how this turns out. Okay, so starting off we're putting three nails with black gel and two nails with white gel in the lamp 60 seconds between each coat, two coats. Just dabbing the diamond dust into the tacky layer of the, the black gel polish on two of the black nails. This one, I'm putting a, a base coat on and then we're going to use the, the gorgeous disco ball glitter. and uh, Sort of like a glitter fade, concentrating that wee bit at the, the cuticle area and then just fading down a wee wee bit down the nail. base coat over the top of the glitter and um, that way if there's any glitter coming off it's going in my base coat and not in my top coat. And once that comes out I'm putting a mat over the two diamond dust nails and a shiny top coat over the disco ball nail. jumping straight into the water decals, I place the decal on the stamper and just dab it using my brush with a wee bit of water, not too much, just enough to saturate it to soak through and it slides off really easily. I decided to soak these ones in the tray just for quickness sake um, and then transfer them straight on to the nail from the stamper. Thank you. 
just putting a wee bit of glitter on these two nails just to sort of like tie them in because there's only that one black nail that's got the glitter on it so I just wanted to tie the, the glitter in on another cut of the nails and to be honest I did faff around a lot more than I really should have on these two nails placing so little glitter it took me forever so I skipped through it a wee bit and cut a lot of it out Oh, and I don't know if you noticed, but I did remove the water decal that's on the nail to the right in this video um, because it was really squint. It was so far over the nail, it looked ridiculous. So I took it off and replaced it with a new one. for some stamping and I wanted some snowflakes on the nails with the diamond dust on it so I'm stamping them because my hand drawn at the moment is complete and other shit so I love the stamping plate it's from Maniology and it, it's kind of a do-it-yourself snowflake plate but for this design I just used some of the pre-designed snowflakes that were already on it Only roughly draw through the snowflakes with some top coat and I want the diamond dust sprinkled over the top so that you've got the contrast of the matte diamond dust in the background with the sugared diamond dust on the snowflakes. using the, the crystals but I don't think this set needs it. I might top coated these two. I didn't film it. Um, but I might top coated these just to bring out the detail and the transfers a wee bit better. And I love those water decals. I'm definitely going to have them on my own nails after I've had an operation and I can put stuff on my nails again. Um, I love them. And I know my painting, the snowflakes, wasn't precise or exact, or anything, but I think it doesn't really matter because the diamond dust is iridescent and it's, you, it sounds silly, but you can see through it. You can still see the pattern of each of the snowflakes and the matted diamond dust underneath the sprinkled diamond dust, I think is an amazing effect. I, I really like that. So, I'm very happy with how this set turned out. So, opinions down below, what's your favourite nail? Should I have left them shiny? What do you think? So, let me know. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.